All right, check, check. All right, y'all. It is the after show. Oh, after show. After show time. Uh, thank you for everybody that watched the first one. This is the second installment of the King's Speech podcast after this show. Is a little segment, man. I like it. Tell the people where the questions come from. So we yeah, got the no. questions that come from. I don't know if I want to give them free promo. I already paid for the paid for the card. <laughs> Yo, so Trump hates free promo. I'm not giving right. anybody free promo. So without giving out free promo, what we have is we have a box of cards. A deck of cards with topics. A deck of yep. cards with topics. So the questions that we do have. Do not aren't just off the top of the dome. They are literally like from um, from a deck. From a deck. Yes. And this deck has random questions. Keeps us on our toes. Yes. Uh, make sure everything that we express to you guys is super genuine. Even the would you rather came from came from the from the, the deck heart. Also, of Trevor's nasty heart. Yeah, from my nasty nasty mind, and I was yeah. reminded of that as people watched the video. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so today we're going to do share your greatest fear. So we're going to share a few of our greatest fears, why we fear these things, and just open up to you guys in the after show. It's the after show time. Are you going to open up or are you going to joke up? What are you going to do? I have a, I have a mix. I have a healthy oh, mix. Oh, a little Trevor mix. I got a healthy mix. A Trevor mix. So how um, about you kick it off this time? I w- that- Home court advantage. Home court advantage. I will definitely kick it off. So uh, one of my greatest fears is definitely losing my hair. Definitely, ah. definitely losing my okay, hair. Okay, okay. It's something I very I hold dear, and okay. I really feel like if I go bald, I don't have a good bald head. I just really don't feel like I have you a head. You have that's, a strong bald head. I don't think I have a good bald head. Nah, yeah, you won't. I don't. So Your I'm, hairline is strong right now. Hairline right stays now, so strong. Thankfully, there are a lot of uh, friends that I have that are not in my spot who have either started losing it from here or have the sunroof, the convertible Ooh, shit. Uh, top off like Wallace. Which one is worse? The convertible shit, or is it, or is it like from the hairline and back? Convertible. Convertible is worse. So like convertible is a side. Convertible is like you start losing it from the top. Yeah, no, don't get, don't do that. That hole just like gets bigger no, and bigger, that. like don't a volcano that. exploding. Let's go back. Let's go back. And lava killing your hair. <laughs> let's just, let's just take it back. And then you end up with the Uncle Phil with the, the shit just yeah, on the side. I'm, would you? Would you back? Yo, if I ever see with the Uncle, just Uncle Phil, that's nuts. Don't do that. I'm holding on to every piece of hair. Go I straight got bald. You got all go the time. I rock the Uncle Phil. I rock it. With some like a little salt and pepper in it. I told you, like fucking great hair. Salt and pepper in it. I rock that Uncle Phil. That's a sick look. <laughs> that's a sick look. To shape up an Uncle Phil is a sick look. <laughs> a lot of people a lot of people do it. Yeah, that's sick. People a lot do of people it on a sick. regular basis. Um one of my greatest fears were to be cornered or in a room alone with a snake. Ooh, that is scary. I would not know what the fuck to do. Who would? I saw. It's funny you say that. There was a video on Instagram that my boy posted of this of this white lady, and there's this. Uh, it's just white people that end up being in these situations with animals. Of course. Uh, and it's like Carol. this big ass, like <laughs> Carol, <laughs> this big ass, like snake. She takes the top off of the case that the snake is in, and she's like playing cutesies with the snake, like it's a puppy. Yeah, no, no. And the snake bites her hand, wraps its entire body around her arm. And just like Locked squeezes in. life out of her arm. It's nuts. I would never watch that video. <laughs> it would literally be my worst fear. I don't like snakes either. Yeah, not my thing. I can't, I can't fuck with snakes. Cornered in a room. I would freak. Like, if, if right now, right now, you were like, yo, there's a snake at that door. Uh-huh. And the only way outside of this apartment is to run into that snake. I wouldn't know what the hell to do. You have to jump out the window. No, the only way out is to the front door. But you have to pass through Oh, the, the only way out? I would not know what to do i'd probably like you know how kids like build those pillow forts with like sheets and shit like that yeah i just see that just now and i, I would just know. No, i would just no, build no, i would just like no. build a fort just like to protect myself from the snake <laughs> i'd probably like get some like household cleaner some like spray Trev, some clorox terrified yeah you're wilding let's go on to the next fear next fear. that's a real fear yeah that, that was, was a real I, fear i just seen it when, once you said you know, once you start building I, I thought about me building something building the and scenario. that not going well <laughs> like i thought about like me building like a little fort and that nigga starts to move up to me now. Now he wants to move to me. The snake is like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, what's up? Come here. Oh, boy. All right. My next fear. Um, ending up with a Beanie Man type gut. Like, you guys saw Beanie Man's battle with uh, Bouncy Killer this weekend. I did see it. And he had great on, like, the t- t-shirt. We didn't even talk about that. That was a great time for the culture. I man. didn't watch it. Look at you. You're not a bad man. You're not a youth. Not a down the road. Yeah. You know, you know, you're not the first person to say it. Not the last. Um, what is wrong? This guy is yeah, so like, cool. Huh? No, I'm not that. I'm not mall. I'm not mal cool. Don't, 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 cool. don't be mall. I'm be not mall. that. I'm not yeah, that. Yeah, I missed it. I'm not the nigga that's never been in love. I'm not the nigga that's never that's, had an emotion. That nigga's not. He's that, not that's human. never had his heart broken. He's not even human. <laughs> He's not even human, bro. He's a joke. 
But um, I just like that skinny type body, and you just got that that gut. That's a tough. That's a tough place to be. That's a that's a hard place to be. That's a tough place. And you to know be. he doesn't have he doesn't have like a soft flabby. That gut. actually is one of my favorites it's as a well. Solid gut. That shit is no, that's, solid. Yeah, that's pure pure rum. That's pure like Jamaican rum. Yeah, and, and magnum magnum and red stripe and red stripe. <laughs> oh, that's the red stripe belly. Yeah, that's a good fare because that's where I'm at with that fare as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would not want that belly. Uh <sighs> fare of mine. I wrote the serious stuff down. You know. Okay. But uh, but not really too serious. I am uh, terrified of skydiving. Really? You would never and, skydive? And, I, and I'm a flight attendant, but I would never jump out of a plane. I mean, I can't, if you're a flight attendant, it kind of goes against everything <laughs> that you believe jumping out of a plane. Yeah, no. Yeah, no we, we do things the opposite way on that side of things. <laughs> not doing that. Um, yeah, so I think jumping out of a plane, like I'm, I'm, I'm actually terrified of heights. So I'm uh, super scared of falling. Okay. Yeah, that was not cool. Yeah, I've never had a fear of heights. Um, tough guy. No, nah, it's not tough. I've no, never been. No Jamaican music, no I reggae, mean, and no and no heights. Oof, what a guy. <laughs> Coolest nigga you know. Coolest nigga. <laughs> Mole. <laughs> Playing the game of Mole right now. Oh, man. All right, so my next fear is actually like a serious fear. I'm going to say the first Whoa. serious thing I've ever said on Tune an after show. Uh, sustaining a life-altering injury that would leave me unable to care for myself. That's tough. Like I would hate to be that guy who like has to have somebody like wipe his ass or give him a bath, yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything like that. Like I would just feel so like useless. useless. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could also. I, I like that. That's good. I yeah. would definitely say. I I was watching. What was I watching? Um, some show the other day, but I it made me think. I was like, yo, I don't want to be in a nursing home. No, never. I want to be completely independent. Mm-hmm. Um. As long as I can. So, yeah, being in a position where I can't take care of myself, that would suck. Yeah. I would be very frustrated because plus people can't do it the right way. There was a there was a guy that I knew growing up in my church. His name was uh, his name was Mr. Mott. Amazing guy. Amazing dude. He was married to his wife for, I want to say, over 70 years. 70 years married. Uh, he passed away at 100, I want to say 102. Oh, wow. Yeah. But up until he was 96 years old, he was like driving to church every Sunday. Yeah, Him and his that. wife. Yeah. Give me that. And his old, uh, his old Camry. No, nah, oh, yeah, his yeah. old like little okay. Camry. Uh, and he was just like, you know, just in, in command of his like, of his functions, of his body. Uh, I mean, eventually he had to stop driving because like his eyesight started to go. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Like but he was ninety six. Like, I've, I've I've done I done did it, kid. But I remember like him just being so like present and like thoughtful and just like right. a good guy. H- however, I can uh, achieve that. Let me do that. Start doing that right now. Mm-hmm. Keep me sharp. And him Keep just like sharp, taking dude. care of his wife, uh, like in just like the most like loving and dependable way possible yeah. was also was also really great to see. That's nice. Yeah, you married to somebody for 70 years? That is something. That is God something. Bless. 70 years is different. Amen to that. Um I just went I went. You went. Yeah. Okay, so oh now you gave us your serious, My serious wow. Theory, yeah. Yo, it shook me up completely. I'm opening up. Wow. Opening up on the after Look show. Look at that. Yeah. Um I would say for me one of the things is I don't want to be uh, older and look back on my life and, and have uh, not regrets, but like not be content with what I accomplished in my youth. What do you mean? So my biggest thing is potential, right? I don't want to look back and be like, I squandered my potential. Yeah, I feel you on that. Um, so that's one of my, one of my like, and, and as I get older, that's really been one of my biggest fears, um, just to not be 60, 50 years old and be like, fuck, I did it. I like, should have done this I or I should have done, done that. Like, cause yeah. I had no regrets right now, right? But like, I don't want to be fifty and sixteen, being like, like where I'm out of my youth completely and like getting lit and and, and, and all that stuff. Like, doesn't hold no weight. That's not even who I am. You know how weird that's <laughs> getting <laughs> lit, getting lit, getting lit, getting lit. <laughs> but like, I don't want to look back on my life and be like, damn, like I didn't. I could have done so much more. So that's something that pushes me and, and, and kind of keeps me in a point where I never want to settle. Like, I never get too comfortable. That's why quarantine mm-hmm. is so uncomfortable for me. Cause I'm like, I'm not accomplishing shit. It's uncomfortable for me. I've had uncomfortable days. Yeah. A lot of uncomfortable days recently uh, with it. So, yeah, that, that's where I'm at. I feel you. Um, I, one of mine, I, the last, I had like two more. The last one kind of is along the same lines that you just mentioned. So one of them is letting people down that I care about. 
Like I, I don't Trev like. Trev is giving I us. I don't like scoop. doing that. Yeah, the scoops. I, uh, I don't like doing that. Okay. Uh, I always like to be in the position to support if mm-hmm. I can. You know, like the people that I care about in my small circle. So it's always a fear to me. Like if I'm in a position that I that I can't. You know what I'm right. saying? And then if right. things go bad for somebody I care about and I know that I could have been there to help, then that kind of fucks with me also. So that, I can see that being a fear for sure. Yeah, and then yeah. along the same lines as you, like. I put not taking a risk and seeing the possible like great outcome of not taking a risk. I feel like as I've gotten older, and I mean, and honestly, like even like in the past That's year, like I've taken more risks, but I haven't taken as many risks in life as I should. And I feel like I'm in a place right now where like I'm comfortable enough to do that. It's great. It's a, I think that's a great place to so be. So I'm gonna, you know, going forward, definitely like you know, take more risks and take more chances, and you know, see responsibly, of course, yeah, uh, and see how things turn out. But I like that. But yeah, not taking a risk and seeing the great outcome. Like I have like a fear of that. Like you said, like unrealized potential. I think everybody has yeah. that that kind of fear you of would unrealized think. potential. You would think. I, I, like, I prefer to think of people in a positive light. Actually, right. no, I don't. That's a lie. Yeah. I don't think of people in positive light. You're trying to fool me. Absolutely not. I know you, boy. Um, any, <laughs> any other fears? Any, anything uh, else? Oh, I have so many. Your um, greatest fear? Let me see what my parting fear. My parting Your fear. Your parting fear. Um... No, I think that's uh, I think that's it. I think, okay, I think that's it. That's cool. Yeah, that's dope. So those were some of our greatest fears here I on the um, you guys the, tea. the second dose of our after show. We're gonna come at you guys with another topic in the next episode of the after show. Thank you guys for watching. Continue to share, like, comment, all of that shit uh, on the YouTube channel, and keep it going, guys. Keep killing it. Keep killing. Wash your hands. Still. Wash your hands. Yes. Still, still wash your hands. It's still wash your hands thing. It's still wash your still hands happy season. Birthday. Scrub them. Do all of that for 20 seconds. Uh, wear your masks in stores. Nice wear your masks in stores. My greatest fear is that I go shopping and I see one of you assholes out on the street with no mask and you sneeze in my face. And then I become your greatest fear. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Full circle. Peace. <laughs>